Doctor's Day celebration. Happy Doctor's Day, everybody. Your doctor. And uh, we're going to do the Physician of the Year announcement today. So I, I appreciate everyone coming and being a part of this ceremony. So just as a little bit of a, to keep everyone up to date, we did change the Physician of the Year process this year. It went from HR and came over to the medical staff office. So the process changed a little bit. And we took nominations from anybody who wanted to nominate a physician for a physician of the year. They filled out a form um, and submitted it to medical staff. And we got nine or 10 really, really nice um, nominations for physicians on staff, all of them probably deserving a, of the award, frankly. We took those and then we formed a little committee to try to select three of those that we thought were the most deserving. And that committee was comprised of the CEO, Brian Turney, um, myself, Tom Gaughan, and Kim Miyachi. Um, and so the four of us sat down, went through all the, the nominations, and picked three candidates that we thought would be um, the best representatives for Physician of the Year. And those three candidates then went out for a vote for the entire hospital and medical staff. And so here we are today. So thanks for all coming. I'm going to turn the microphone over to Tom here for a second, and he's going to give a little bit of a review about the three nominees that went out for votes. So thanks, Tom. So the pictures are up here. You can't see them. They're pretty small. But uh, we had the three finalists. And what I want to do is maybe read a little bit from the nominations. All of the finalists had multiple nominations. Um, and people had some very nice things to say. So I first one on my list here is Dr. No. Where, where, I know he's here. There he is. OK. <laughs> now, you know, not everybody knows Dr. No because he hides out over at the Wallapai campus. But, um, <laughs> but you know. Uh, Nominations, uh, let me just read directly from them. So the first was, uh, Dr. No is one of the most compassionate physicians I have ever had the pleasure to work with. His motto is to treat patients as if they were his own family, and he believes in giving everyone a chance. Another nomination for him said, he is willing to take on harder cases because he has confidence in his abilities and the staff that works in acute rehab. And then uh, another nomination, says, outside of the hospital, I see patients at yard sales, and they stop me to say thank you and, how wonder and tell us how wonderful a job we do. Uh, Dr. Null believes in all patients and cares for all. So, Dr. Null. <laughs> Second on my list here is uh, Dr. Cruy Spencer. Uh, Dr. Spencer's been here a long time. Where, where, where is there's, there he is. You raise, raise your hand, Curry. Don't be <laughs> <laughs> So, you, you know, uh, Dr. Spencer has been, in, in the years that I've been here, on multiple committees. He's been on the Infection Control Committee. He's been a peer review committee. He's been on the Medical Executive Committee. Um, he was the Medicine Department Chair for uh, up until 2016. And here's what some of the nominations say about Dr. Spencer. Dr. Spencer treats his patients like they are family. Dr. Spencer treats his nurses like one of his family members and helps the nurses understand why he is ordering something. If a nurse makes an error, Dr. Spencer is so kind and explains to the nurse in a manner that is caring and educational. Um, I, that, that's pretty high praise, actually. <laughs> um, I, another nominee says, I am a unit director and one of my duties is to round on patients. I have not met a patient to date that has a single complaint regarding Dr. Spencer. And uh, a third nomination says, in addition to patients having the highest regard for Dr. Spencer, so do my staff members. I will overhear my nursing staff talking to each other, stating that if I have to call a physician and when they find it is Dr. Spencer, they will say, oh good, it is Dr. Spencer. <laughs> So you, you, you kind of see a theme here about the staff and the patients. Um, and then, yeah. and our last nominee is Dr. Swap. Did he make it? I don't see him here. No. Dr. Swap is uh, one of our pathologists. Um, again, works a lot in the background to a lot of people in the hospital, but uh, is well known to all of us. Um, he's also, uh, the last couple of years, been the chair of our recruitment committee, um, which has done a fabulous job here. 
um, has been on the Physician Leadership Council. Uh, on the, he's the Vice Chair of Ambulatory Surgery up until last year, and he's been the Vice Chief of Staff this year, or the last two years. So the nominations for Dr. Swap. One says, although Dr. Ryan Swap doesn't exactly sit with patients to plan their line of care, he's the behind the scenes hero, as the lab calls him. Every patient is someone special. He loves being a resource to our physicians and helping hand whenever possible. Uh, second uh, nomination says, Dr. Swap has championed the physician recruitment team and has invested countless hours in interviewing, onboarding, and building meaningful and lasting relationships with physicians and providers of all type. In one year, he helped to fill over 35 physician and provider vacancies. And uh, the third nomination says, Dr. Swap plays a critical role in our retention of our techs and the love they maintain for laboratory medicine. These are techs in the lab. Uh, Dr. Swap shows a passion for patient care and believes in excellent service. So whether we care or not, we all And then I guess the big reveal goes back to Doug. The big reveal. So we've done, try, done our best to try to keep this a secret. So the winner, the well-deserving winner of the Physician of the Year this year is drum rolls. <laughs> Drew Spencer. nominated were uh, just as good a candidate as very true, so I'll have to vote more for them next time. <laughs> Congratulations. Well so, uh, I'm going to pass the mic over to uh, Brian Kearney now for a few words. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, congratulations, Crewy. I'll just say, just these all three of these candidates, and there are other candidates that, like I say, there are a lot that probably could have made it, but we needed to narrow it down. But, um, you know, Dr. No, uh, been a pleasure to work with him. And um, I don't know if people are aware, I don't want to embarrass you, Dr. No, but just an example of the things he does, just this, at this last um, uh, dinner that we had for the foundation of Black Tie Dinner, he paid for the entire, anybody from the Q Rehab that wanted to go, paid for everybody's tickets. I mean, we're talking thousands of dollars, generous, and he, and he cares for his patients the same way. So anyway, thank you very much. <laughs> Dr. Uh, Swap, I, I think you talked a lot about what he had done, but you know, clearly what he's done, um, not just with the pathology, but changing our culture at this institution and supporting and bringing new physicians on board. And he's also now taken on the, the not so illustrious job of being the chair as far as our implementation of our um, electronic health record. He's taken on that dif uh, difficult job and is going to play a role there. So I uh, appreciate all that he does. Uh, Crewy has been here a long time. I can tell you honestly, as a CEO, uh, he takes care of a lot of patients. In my entire career as CEO, I have not had to field one complaint about Crewy Spencer, and that says a lot about uh, a physician to be able to go that many years and heard a lot of positive things, and I know the feedback we get from the patients is great. Um, he has one fault, and that is I mean, he just loves attention so much. <laughs> so, uh, I, I've never seen anybody more unassuming than Dr. Spencer. So anyway, congratulations. Also want to thank, we have two board members that came, uh, just so our physicians are aware. We've got Dave French, our chair, and our vice chair, Tom Vodder, and back. Oh, and Dr. Matheny walked in. He's actually, uh, he's not just a doctor, he's a board member, too. <laughs> I think I caught everybody there. But anyway, Crewy, uh, congratulations. Thanks so much for uh, the difference you've made um, with a lot of patients' lives, and also helping us as an institution get better. So congratulations. Okay, thank, thanks again everybody for coming out. We've got cake in the back. Um, next year, make sure you turn in a, a nomination form for your favorite doctor for next year's Physician of the Year. Um, Curry, don't we got some pictures we need to take too before you run off. <laughs> <laughs> thanks again for coming, it was great to see everybody.
Thank you to the medical staff office, Jennifer, Denise, Alyssa, for putting this all together. We appreciate it.